In this video, we'll talk about managing the column's visibility in the grid. The challenge you can face is that users may want to show all the possible info in the grid, to the point that the grid may take up all the available space. There are two possible solutions for that. We can either add a horizontal scroll bar into the grid and make it thinner, or allow a user to select which columns are going to be visible. Let's start with the first approach. We can make our grid scrollable using the scrollable property of the layout configuration option. We split the Gantt layout into several columns. Here is our grid, the timeline, the resizer element between the grid and the timeline, and the vertical scroll bar. In order to add an inner scroll bar into the grid element, add the scrollable property to the grid object and connect it to the horizontal scroll bar located in the same column. After that, we can scroll the grid using the scroll bar element. We also need a horizontal scroll bar for the timeline element, which is added in the same way. Lastly, we connect both the grid and the timeline to the same vertical scroll bar element in order to synchronize their vertical position. Another approach to our original challenge is to provide a user with an ability to select which columns should be visible. To do so, add a UI element where a user will be able to specify the visible columns and change the configuration of the grid after the user's selection. You can hide any column either by removing it from the columns config or setting the Hide property. Given that we can add a UI control where a user can select columns, and since we already know how to add a drop-down menu to the Gantt header, let's proceed with this. All we need is to add inputs for each defined column. When the selection changes, we prepare an array of selected columns, assign it to the columns config, and repaint the Gantt. Many other things can be done using Gantt layouts. We'll dive into them in our future videos. Ready to try it out yourself? Download a free Gantt trial version via the link in the video description and follow our video tutorial. If you're interested in any other topics for building your own Gantt chart, leave your comments here and follow our YouTube channel to stay tuned.